God, the disastrous mess. Okay, now, here's what's going on. A Windows XP is not the greatest operating system in the world. Um, the XDA2 here, DAC, comes on, you know, I start the computer, and if I don't turn on the DAC, it doesn't work. I have to unplug and plug back in the USB, and then it works fine. So, there are triggers on the back of the DAC here that take 5 to 12 volts, and when they detect power, they'll turn on. It's for high-end amps and things. You turn one switch on and everything turns on. Everything can daisy chain. Now, <clears throat> I just did some tests, and I turned on the, uh, the XDA with my little 12-volt battery here, which is fine. Now I want to see if I can get it to turn on with USB power. I've got my old uh, Cyber Sniper Stinger red USB coming out of the computer, out of an add-on card. I'm going to check it. Oh, that's sharp. Check it with my multimeter, see which one of these leads is actually giving me 5 volt. Which isn't going to be as probably fast as 12 volt for turning it on. And since my colors are crazy, yellows, oranges, and everything else, this is going to be interesting. Let's try that. First shot. Nice. Okay. Ow. Sharp. So, blue and green do not need to be here. We're going to concern ourselves with... Shit, which one was positive? I'm guessing the orange was positive. That's my memory. Shot. Uh, yeah, that's, that's positive. Alright. So, now, I should be able to just quickly... Twist this around. Yeah, let me strip it a little better. Fuck! There's a lot of solder on there. I just stripped the whole goddamn wire completely off. This is very delicate stuff, but I don't want to waste all, all of it. The red's not bad. This is just a test anyway. So now, if I attach. Which is, this is really, really tiny. Really tiny, tiny stuff. Oh my god. Unplug this. I don't want to clicking on and off if I can't twist this right. You no. Know? Twist this around. This is so gay. I may have to abandon this little... Oh. Okay. Guess I didn't need that on there after all. Let's give myself some wire to work with. Okay. There's also a piece of string in here for strength and for stripping the wire down. I don't want anything to do with it. Nothing to do with it. These wire cutters have seen better days. They're mostly just strippers now. These are my actual good wire cutters. They'll cut anything. Oh, I mildly pulled the uh, shielding off of the orange one. That's great. Slide that back down. Okay. That actually worked out well. Now we've got this massive ground on this. I may have to kill half of it. Now I'm hoping when I turn my computer on, it will turn on the DAC at the exact same time. And then I don't have to worry about this. Unless it's something else that's internal in XP that's screwed up. So, we should be getting 5 volt through this wire. The input is here. Plug it in. Ka clicky doodle. Ka clicky doodles. She's on. And now let's unplug it. Bam! Mad science up in here. Alright. Now to fix this goddamn mess. Mess. Florence. Florence. Mess. Hats and god everything else is up here. All right, fast forward a few days. I've got the Emotiva set up. I've got the XLRs to go to the Behringer. Everything's plugged in. That wire I made is plugged in. I'm going to turn the power strip on like I do daily. Computer will automatically start. And there she goes. Click, click, and she's on. Magni headphone amp, getting ready to leave. 
Fluence SX6s. Getting ready for a review. And uh, yeah, everything worked out swimmingly. Although when I shut off the computer, that doesn't go off. So either can shut it off manually or just flip the switch and it goes off. But it does come on with it. And since it's on now and the computer's booting, it works fine. That's good then.